size model. Okay. Now, the question is, in 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 in, 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 in contest is, is that beautiful? To somebody. Cool. Now, this guy that some men like their women thick like that. Will you be shocked how many times I got asked out? I got asked out more when I weighed almost three hundred pounds. Because I was actually pretty with weight. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I would put it. That sounded, oh, I get a dice. Sounded conceited. I didn't mean it like that. What I mean to say is they could see the skinny. I don't know. That's how he said that. One guy said, you're really pretty. You don't just have weight. You got pretty, too. Yeah. So, um... One of the guys that I like to kind of uh, expand my mind a little bit with, you know, is this uh, Jordan Peterson, the Canadian clinical psychologist, cultural critic, and professor of something. He went on Twitter, though, and then he had to delete his Twitter. Because he involved himself in something about... Uh, he reposted the New York Post of Yumi Nu shaking over SI swimsuit cover reveal tribute or something and then he said sorry period not beautiful period and no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that period hey, um, will you push that and go for Dr. Weird oh, yes. so you, your your first reaction this is just Emerald Dragon reaction it's real calling it you know what I mean? so what would so you say it's not weird even though uh, you said to somebody and then you said he, he ain't wrong. So he's not wrong because he just said it because he is what he is. He said what he feels and the majority will agree with him. Can I have that? Perfect. But there is somebody that will find that beautiful. There is people that will be good for her or ooh, actually be turned on, believe right. it or not. Right, right, right. Uh, there's, yeah. So actually both are correct. That's what I saw too. But now, him, his brutal honesty was more true. Does that make sense? That makes sense. In reality, where it's just like, who do you uh, condition to think that way? Yeah, and who 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 is the, who is in the condition? Where is their expectation? There used to be a time the expectation it really is did the, turn on men to see hmm. women that big. So what is what Yahoo's saying is Twitter users were divided, with several of his own fans condemning Peterson for publicly insulting a woman's looks. Others shot back that New was overweight and unhealthy. Why do men feel it's their duty to publicly pronounce their view on the attractiveness of women? Couldn't you just keep it to yourself, demanded one person. Some argue that beauty standards have changed over time, with curvy women being the ideal at one point and thinness being desirable at another. It's obvious you have never been to an art museum in Europe. Some of the right. most memorable paintings I've ever seen in my life saw in my in my life were lifetime were of the women that looked just like these. Uh, 17th century art and then he just just because you don't have any taste for a curvaceous woman doesn't mean others don't and then all of a sudden this busty little female's getting eaten now oh baby yep, yep. You know I mean? I've seen art work like that mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. back in uh, that day it was for a woman to be big like that was perfect I'm a huge fan of yours, Mr. Peterson. I'm always getting my young adult sons and daughters to watch your videos, but I have to disagree. Beauty is subjective. You can be older and heavier and still be beautiful. Is it a standard beauty? Question mark. No, period. I love your talks, but this comment is beyond it. disappointing. You may not even know how many levels of this is disturbing. So I'm trying to interview more young women on your podcast. You've got a lot of learn. Until then, stop criticizing women's bodies. So I said somebody. The most influential public intellectual in the Western Everybody world. Has a right to their opinion. Can you please crack your window? Honey? Yes. Okay. Once hailed by the New York Times as the most influential public intellectual in the Western world, the University of Toronto professor emeritus uh, initially seemed unfazed by the comment he received. Rage away, panderers, and tell me you believe that such images are not conscious and c cynical manipulations. Virtuous, politically correct. Sorry, not beautiful, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, blah, blah. However, posted a series of tweets shortly after stating that he would be staying off the social platform. I recently stopped accessing Twitter for three weeks as an experiment. I had some of my staff post the video links, etc. What do you say? I started using it again in a few days, and I would say that my life got worse again almost instantly. The endless flood of vicious and soul is really not something that can be experienced anywhere else. I like to follow the people I know, but I think the incentive structure of the platform makes it extrinsically and dangerously insane. <laughs> He plans on to he plans on though writing an article. The technical reasons that Twitter is maddening us all very soon. He ended the series by post with bye for now. Despite announcing that he would quit the platform, he's proceeded to post more content. He felt torn between the responsibility to stay informed and provide value to his subscribers and the observations of the unacceptably toxic nature of Twitter. <laughs> How are you, bro? <laughs> that, that, like, hook you. They thought yeah, they were gonna you know, really, they thought that, the, you know, he went in shame, but no, he went out actually fucking in flame. That was hilarious. Like, in his own flame, of like, awesome. He's gonna make a fucking article. He's gonna make a fucking, he's gonna publish a paper about it now. This is awesome. I can't wait for it. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he care? <laughs> Twitter people hate him. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> 